Recently, I started building my LDO Milo mini milling machine. And while working on that project and having to grease eight linear rail carriages for MGN 15 rails so far, I discovered my new old favorite tool for greasing linear rails and working on 3D printers. That's this, a mini grease gun that I've owned for 15 plus years and only this week decided to use on these projects. Really quickly, what's the intended use case of this tool that I never thought to use it on printers previously? It's intended to grease air tools, so your impact wrenches, your air ratchets, and your die grinders often will have a little port on them, a little ball at one point, that the tip of this grease gun is meant to press into so you can inject grease into a gearbox or a hammer mechanism. But I've been thinking for a while that it would probably work pretty well to grease linear rails on 3D printer builds. So recently, while Modbot and I were streaming on the Modbot Army channel starting our LDO Motors mini milling machine Milo builds, I decided to jump out of frame, go grab this thing, clean the old grease out of it, and load it up with EP2 grease, the grease that I use in linear rails on 3D printers, and I am so happy that I did it. I just wish I would have done it a lot sooner. Let's go ahead and use this thing to grease up some linear rails and I'll show you how it functions. One way you can do it is to just pull off the carriage from the linear rail and then very carefully apply some grease in between the ball bearings and over them and then reassemble and slide it up and down the rail a little bit and then pull it back off, lube it again and repeat that a few times. This is the riskiest way of doing it as you're risking dropping the ball bearings out of there and then you may screw up your entire linear rail if you can't find them, you lose a couple and you missed one, it might not work the way it's supposed to. These particular MGN 15 linear rails for the Milo build have a screw in the end of the dust cap right in the middle. If I take that out, I can actually inject grease into there and it'll get into the ball bearing passages in this carriage. The idea there is to inject a little bit of grease into there until it comes out of the sides of the carriage. That tells you that you've greased through its passageway. However, I don't really feel like this gets the entire carriage. You'd have to do this numerous times, sliding it back and forth along the linear rail rail and it also means getting it toward the end of the rail with the stop removed so you're risking it sliding off of the end of there and again losing ball bearings. My personal preference of how to do this is to line up the carriage on your linear rail with one of the bolt holes that passes through the rail. Then with this grease gun I can press it into that hole from the back side of the rail and force grease into the carriage. I will then squeeze out of the sides of the rail and you can see how well it has penetrated along the length of the carriage. I will often slide it to one end of the carriage or the other and then repeat that process to make sure that I'm getting grease squeezed out all along it. Then I will slide it up and down along the rail length, wipe up some excess and do it again because there are passages inside of this carriage that need to get grease into them as well. Okay, it's a grease gun. Why is that special? Well, a lot of us have previously been using these plastic cheap syringes to grease components like this. They have really small orifice and a relatively large cylinder plunger system, which creates a lot of back pressure inside of here, meaning you have to really struggle to push grease out of this. During my stream with Modbot, you could see he was using two hands just to push on the plunger on his, and it's just not a great system. It works, but not well. This grease gun is a grease gun. It was always intended to push grease, unlike that syringe. So it just makes it easier to push into your different situations and really fill things with grease and get them lubricated. One thing I should probably note about this tool is there's a hole in the bottom of it to access a plunger that's in the bottom of the cartridge that holds the grease. After you fill this thing up, you need to push from the bottom and push on that plunger. It knows there's no spring inside of here or anything to do the job for you. So as you're pushing up on that, you're gonna be compressing any air that's inside of there. Push a couple of times on the plunger to release that air. Again, pushing up from the bottom just so you can get it nice and started. And then once it starts pushing grease, it should draw that plunger up with it and work on its own. But from time to time, you may need to manually push that back up there a little bit just to get a little more grease out of it. One other thing I should note is I did mention that these syringes, you can get some of the longer needle tips to get into your grease dust boots on your carriages and grease for maintenance purposes. 
I haven't found a good way of doing that with the tool yet. It's better for the bulk initial filling rather than the maintenance tasks. I'm looking for ways to adapt some of these grease needles that I got to that thing, but I haven't found a good way to do it just yet. If you have any input on ways that I can do that, please let me know in the comments. There's an affiliate link in the description if you wanna pick up one of these for yourself. It's an Astro Pneumatic 101 is the version I have linked down there. It's like 11, $12 in the US on Amazon Prime. And honestly, for that price, I think personally, it's a no brainer if you're gonna be building more than one 3D printer. Might be a little bit much for one 3D printer, but for anything more than that, I would say get it. As it stands, I think I'm gonna replace my 15 year old one. You can see some grease pushing out the back of mine. I feel like almost as much comes out the back now as goes out the front because the seal's probably bad in there. It's probably time to put this one out to pasture and spend the $11 to get another one. All right, folks, that's it for this one. Hope you found it interesting and maybe you can make some use of that tool for yourself. Happy greasing. Be sure to get subscribed to ensure your 3D prints don't fail. It's not a guarantee, but it can't hurt. See ya.